Hello, I want to talk to you today about two vitamins that are important for uh, many women with PCOS. That's vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Now this information is just for you to take with you and try to fit into your own health puzzle. With all supplements, I recommend that you take this information and present it to your doctor or another healthcare provider like a nutritionist or a naturopath or do more research on your own so you make sure that these choices are right for you. This is general information to help you get started. Okay, so let's move on to vitamin B12. So why I think that this is an important vitamin for women with PCOS to be aware of is because long-term use of metformin, uh, the drug that is commonly prescribed to women with PCOS for insulin resistance, it has been shown again and again to cause low vitamin B12 in people who use it long term. And some birth control pills also uh, cause low vitamin B12, particularly when it's in combination with metformin. So if you are on metformin, it's my recommendation that you ask your doctor to check you annually every year to see if you have low B12. If you uh, find that you have low B12 or your physician thinks that you should go ahead and start supplementing with it since you're taking metformin, um, you can start usually with just 100 I the 100% the of the daily recommended value. One thing to be aware of is that some people have what's called the MTHFR gene variant. It's a complicated thing that I'm not going to get into right now. It's just to know that you may have trouble um, breaking down vitamins, in particular B12 is one of them, if you have this gene variant. I happen to have it myself, so when I tested positive for that, my physician put me on a methylated B12 supplement that was appropriate for my level of um, B12 deficiency. Okay, moving on to vitamin D. So vitamin D is a tricky one because you can't get it from your diet. You have to get it from sun exposure. And most of us aren't getting a whole lot of sun exposure. Maybe if you're um, like a surf instructor, you're getting some sun exposure. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, in some research, 67 to 85% of women with PCOS were found to be uh, vitamin D. Uh, D deficient. And that's a problem because uh, low vitamin D is associated with fertility problems, cardiovascular disease, hirsutism, insulin resistance. So if you are low in vitamin D, um, you could be aggravating all of those problems that already come along with having PCOS. In fact, some studies have seen that women with PCOS see an improvement in their hirsutism, infertility, and cardiovascular factors when they start taking a vitamin D supplement. Now, as far as I can tell in the research, there's no like one particular vitamin D dosage for um, PCOS. Right now, a lot of people, a lot of experts are kind of thinking that the daily recommended value that we have currently in the supplement industry isn't high enough. Um, so I'm reading just in my own research that a good place to start is about 2,000 international units of vitamin D, um, or particularly D3. And with all vitamins, you want to look for vitamins from reputable sources that are either NSF or GMP certified. Those are consumer watchdogs for supplements. So they test the purity of a supplement. Two brands that I recommend are Theralogix, which I have a brand partnership. I love their, their brand. And another brand that I've been happy with that's available sometimes on Amazon is Pure Encapsulations. Both of those brands um, have multiple levels of quality control so that you can trust what you're getting. Okay, so vitamin B12 and vitamin D. It's probably a good idea to get yourself checked annually for your levels, especially if you're taking metformin and birth control pills. Um, you might even want to look into whether or not you have the MTHFR gene variant, and you can actually take a test on 23andMe.com for that if you want to. All right, um, go forth and choose your supplements wisely, ladies.